Confronting and stopping sexual predators may seem like a good idea, and that's just what one West Michigan man is doing. But as Heather Walker reports, state police want this man to stop his vigilante activity. Got your keys? Whoa. I will break your hand. It's incidents like this one that make law enforcement nervous. The video was posted weeks ago showing a confrontation with an alleged predator Safe. at a local target that turned if you want physical. It, just tell me. In another incident, the man had a gun. I know you have a gun. Don't do anything stupid. I'm dumb too. Swears and in his I vigilante videos have made the news be before. Be New at 6 o'clock, the vigilante who made headlines for busting alleged sexual predators in the act. When we first reported on him in 2016, his videos had led to several convictions. He was told to stop then, but apparently he still hasn't received the message. Why do you continue to do this? Um, I have to check it out. No, but I mean, <laughs> why do you continue to try to find predators online and try to go why after not? them? Well, I think there's a fear that they won't be prosecuted. Um, I'm working on that. What that means is unclear, but the message from the Kent County prosecutor is very clear. We will not ever take a case from him and prosecute it. Hey, Timothy, Timothy. The latest video was posted yesterday. This just has uh, so many different ways this can go bad. Michigan's Attorney General Dana Nessel says it actually hinders our ability to keep our kids safe and protect them from dangerous individuals. In fact, well-meaning vigilantes not only endanger themselves, but their actions may result in important evidence being suppressed. Swears still doesn't seem to believe that his actions are harmful. You know, I'm trying to understand what's going I on think, here. I think the police don't like competition. 